down at the foot of the cross. Yes. And where we receive that abundant love and forgiveness and grace of God demonstrated in Jesus Christ, we together become a glimpse of the beloved community of every nation, every tongue, every tribe. And in the first century, when that happened, people said, what's with them? Because they are not following Greek and Roman culture. They've abandoned the caste system. They've abandoned the class system. They've abandoned the male versus female. They, they are doing it all wrong. And they seem to be enjoying themselves. <laughs> we should be having the same effect in the 21st century as they wow. had in the first century. Wow. You know, that's one of the unique things I, I love about, and, and, and those of you know, like Joy has actually taught too, adjunct for us here at Wesley Biblical Seminary, and just just did so this past January, um, at least in like a lecturing capacity. It was great to have you in there. Uh, I think like where things are working, it's incredibly beautiful and attractive, and, and I, I, I can't help but highlight Wesley Biblical at this moment because we have an incredible diversity. 61% of our, our students are non-white. 45% are female. Um, and was, what, what's unique about that is like, you think, okay, well, we've worked really hard to make sure everything is just perfect. Like everybody feels completely represented and we're not saying any of the wrong words. We're sure we probably mess up a lot. And yet we're surround, we're on that foot of the cross. And probably I, I think what's made it successful here at Wesley Biblical is that it's that same perspective you have of us being the beloved community, united in mission, going together. And it is a beautiful, wonderful thing when it works. Where have you, where have you seen it work, Joy, like that? Well, interestingly enough, one of the things, the first time that I, 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 I taught for Wesley Biblical, um, I, I, I was struck. I even said this to the class. I was struck. I was doing the spiritual formation D-Men cohort, and I was struck by the diversity in the classroom uh, that, that, that you just described in terms of percentages, to be able to say that we were having a real conversation about racial issues. And right. there were pastors from rural white Mississippi talking with pastors from rural black Mississippi. That's right. And urban on both sides of the tracks, yes. if I use that, that, that language. And we were having hard conversations. And at, at the end of the day, we all knew that we had a long way to go. And I just yep. recently uh, finished reading a book by author C. Brooks called Love Your Enemies. Mm. And in that, he makes a statement, uh, or he, he makes a case uh, from a statement that, um, uh, a Black Lives Matter leader from New York made at a Trump rally in Washington, D.C., I think in September of 2017. And what the, um, the Black Lives Matter leader said to the folks that were gathered in D.C. was, we have to do this together. Mm. Now, that was a political moment.